Hey guys, my name is Samir Muhammad, and in this video, I'm going to show you a real world vendor processing RPA demo. At AQL, we've been helping a lot of clients implement end to end automation seamlessly using RPA. Yes, RPA is not a science project anymore, this technology is for real. And we've been implementing it at several clients. There's a lot of mundane and repetitive tasks in every industry, and you can save a lot of your resources by automating them. So the way this demo is going to work is as soon as the vendor receives an email, the Power Automate will extract the invoice and save it to a SharePoint folder. I'll then be using Microsoft AI Builder to extract the data from the invoice and use Microsoft Teams for approvals and rejections. As soon as users approve the invoice, Power Automate desktop fires up, enters the invoice in the legacy accounting application. This client's accounting department has saved a lot of serious time and resources by using Power Automate RPA. Their processing time for thousands of invoices has decreased from months to hours, and that's a huge ROI. Stay tuned and let's get started. So let's get started with reviewing Microsoft AI Builder. So this is the vendor invoice from Ace Hardware that I'm going to implement RPA for. I'm going to show you what I have done to train the AI model. First thing is I created a collection to add similar layout of these invoices. And as per the best practices from Microsoft, you should be adding up to 20 or more invoices. I know it's a lot, but more the better. So here I've created the AI model and created fields as you can see and map them to the fields on the invoice and also created tables so that I can map the table data also to the AI model. So here's the collection and I've added five sample invoices for training purposes. And here I can add as many invoices as I want. Again, the more the better so that the AI builder can provide more accurate results when extracting the data from the invoices. Now let me show you how I have tagged the fields of the invoice to the fields and tables that I have created in the AI builder just now. Uh, I mean in the AI model just now. So here the field invoice number is tagged to the invoice number as you can see over here. Unit number is tagged to the unit number. Complaint number to the complaint number. And here I have tagged the whole parts table. It contains detailed info about multiple parts. Quality, unit of <coughs> measure and its pricing. And this is the most complex part to extract from the invoice since there is no fixed number of rows to it and it can extend to one or more or several pages. Click on preview to see how data can be extracted. When an invoice is passed through the AI builder model, it will extract the table information just like this. So here this table is ex extending to the next page as you can see. So as of now, Microsoft AI builder does not support tables extending to several pages. So this requires an alternate approach. I've done some customizations in my Power Automate Webflow for this. What I do is I tag multiple tables on different pages, have AI Builder extract the data, and then I concatenate the data and make it accessible to Power Automate Desktop as one single piece of information. So as mentioned before, I have added five documents, which is the minimum requirement for the collection. And, I, and as I have just shown tagging for one invoice, I have tagged all the other invoices as well. And this is how I have trained this model. So now let's talk about the Power Automate desktop flow. So the purpose of the Power Automate desktop flow is to enter data in the legacy application and is installed on a machine in your environment. So this is a flow that I've created and you can see several actions. And the purpose of the desktop flow is to open the accounting legacy application, authenticate it, and perform the data entry tasks. Also, just an FII in the Power Automate flow, which is pretty strong, I have created a log for each action. If the flow fails, then it will generate an error message and save it so that the debugging of the failed invoices is very easy. I've installed Power Automate desktop and the data gateway on an on-prem machine from this machine, the Power Automate desktop will access accounting legacy application to enter the invoice. So the on-prem data gateway will connect the Power Automate desktop flow to the Power Automate web flow. Let's open the data gateway. 
Uh, as you can see, I have already installed it. After installing Data Gateway, I have to configure it. Let's start with entering an email address, and this will be the account under which this gateway will run. It's going to authenticate the account. Then it will. Then um, you will need to configure it. So in my case, as you can see, I've already configured it. Gave it the name Invoice Processing Gateway, and I and I use this gateway in Power Automate Webflow to call the Power Automate Desktop flow. So now let's start the invoice processing that we've been waiting for. I'm going to act like I'm the vendor, AS Hardware, and send this invoice to Donna Carden at Mars Automobile through email. Let me attach the invoice and send it out in an email so you can see that the email has gone out. So now let's see what happens at Mars Automobile where the RPA process is set up. As soon as an email is received in Donna Carden's account, Power Automate will fire up and send an approval notification on the Teams channel. So here I'm on the Teams channel. So this takes a little bit, so you will have to be patient. So the approver at Mars Automobile receives the notification Microsoft Teams, and at the same time, Power Automate also added the document to SharePoint folder here. So let's go back to Teams over here and take a look at notifications. So you see vendor, uh, part number, labor, and all this critical information already extracted, complaint number, and all the different details. Down at the bottom, this notification also has approve, reject, and process manually, three different options, and then a place to enter cause and comments. So I'm going to choose approve and then go ahead and enter uh, approve as the cause and the comment as well. And then hit on the submit button. So after you click on the submit button in Teams, behind the scenes, there's communication going on and Power Automate Flow will call Power Automate Desktop and the real show begins in a second. So now I'm logged into the machine where the approved invoice will be entered into the legacy accounting application. Be patient, it might take a bit before Power Automate Desktop Flow starts and when it does, you will see nothing but just true automation. So legacy application opens up and magically data is being is going to be entered row by row without any hu human intervention. So here it goes, Power Automate Desktop fires up. It will authenticate the legacy application by entering the username and password. Then it's logged into the system, opens up a new invoice form, starts entering data, populates the department, adds the task and comments, adds the cause, and it goes pretty fast. Now it's going to add the parts, and if the parts exist, it will add directly to the part. If the part does not exist, then it will be added as miscellaneous. Remember the multiple parts row in the invoice, which was spread across several pages. It will enter all those parts, one after the other. There can be complex business rules and validations implemented here, like even integrating and getting data from other systems and a lot more. As you can see, several parts are being entered. What if you had to manually enter all these rows from hundreds of invoices that come in on a daily basis? Think about the time it takes and the possible human error. I think I'm going to relax while RPA does my job. So it's almost done, entering all the parts, saves the parts, closes the parts form, and then enters some other information like labor charges and stuff like that. And now it opened up the attachment from the SharePoint folder, as you can see, and it's going to download it to the local machine and attach this to the accounting applications invoice that was just entered. So here I'm logged into the email account of the vendor AS Hardware who sent this invoice. You can see this vendor already received 
and email notification that the invoice is approved. Thanks to Power Automate and the RPA process.